say what drives me or motivates me is um, well, I have a natural passion that, that I understand now. I keep my passion, I keep the mojo of my passion alive like a blues musician. Like I won't let, I don't want to feel a depletion in the character of my passion for, for what I do in general. So like I said earlier, I'm never going to stop playing basketball. And I tore my Achilles twice and I'm still going to ball sometimes. Like, so I, I, I mean it, I'm not going to stop. I think I've made myself believe in the ideology I've created. You know what I'm saying? Um, and it, it keeps my drive going. Like, uh, I don't feel time. You know, I don't feel time. You know, so I don't feel age. So I feel 18. You know, I feel the same way I felt at 18. So, so I'm doing the same things too. It's like, uh, because I don't have that in my head of time, it just feels like life is like one big day. I don't feel the logging off and the log in of another day. So I just feel like it's my, it's my organic life. You know what I'm saying? Um, my natural passion is up, you know? Um, and I'm a team player. I, don't, I wanna see it all happen. I'm not a hater. That keeps me, my drive there. I don't have um, a hate in me, you know? Like you can go get a billion dollars and I'm not gonna be the dude who's like, damn, this dude got everything. Like you got the hot chicken. You can go pull a Tom Brady have all the looks, the chicken, all the Super Bowls too. And I'm just not that hater. And Chicago, we got, we, we, we know for some haters, okay? But I'm just not one of them. I'm, I'm just far from that. I really root for the success of people. And I think that that energy, putting that energy out, kind of sends it back to me in a sense. Cause um, I know when I'm walking around and when I'm just, like I said, I'm being myself and people engage with me. They see that they, they can engage with me. And I keep the mis the mystique of my character too. Like uh, there's a mystique about me that I realize now that people like. All people know need to know is a little bit about me. Like these moments are big, you know what I'm saying? Because they get to hear my voice for more than, they hear my voice coming from me and not you know, tempered by a character or something. Other than that, I like the mystery of myself as it's in the world, as it's portrayed in the world. And I like the passion that I can have for that. I have a passion to keep that alive too, you know. I. Um, uh, and also I'm driven because I'm competitive. You know, it's a sport a little bit, life. You can look at a Jay-Z and say, you know, I need to run faster. But that, you don't want to be Jay-Z, you just want to run a little faster. Because you can see people um, getting things out of life just because they wanted it. Just because they put the arrow in that direction, you know. As Jay-Z is now, back when, we would never guess him to be like, this. you know, you would just never think he would be and he's so, what I love about him a lot the most is when he, when he speaks now, when you see him in interviews, and it's been for, it's been for a while. You know, I watched um, the Khalif Browder story yesterday. That kid in New York who went to Rikers Island and they did him wrong and he died and they need to shut, and they are shutting Rikers Island down. And this was the preempted that, people not familiar with it. Be familiarize yourself with Khalif Browder, young man out of New York. And Jay-Z produced the film. Uh, a doc on him. When you hear Jay-Z speak, he's speaking from a core. Some people speak from a surface. You can tell he's speaking from a core place because every time, like he said, I'm trying to give you a uh, million dollars worth in for $9.99. And that, that's the core. You know, and I, I like that about Jay-Z. You can pick up on some of these people's um, energies and if you got the gumption in yourself, it just make you run faster. And not even toward money, but what I like about him, I am not talking about his money, you know. Obviously he has that. That's a great calling card to for people to know, you know, you're standing on a hundred or having eight hundred million billion dollars or whatever. And uh, but when he comes in the room, he has the core in his conversation, the core strength, which supports all the big muscle. And I'm glad a person like him is in my um my class photo, you know what I'm saying? He's he's around my age and he, my class photo. I'm glad that that guy is in my group because he speaks with a certain amount of spiritualness and intelligence, putting them together and making it palatable for uh, the younger crowd, which might, you know, easily distract the crowd. So there's a lot to learn from him these days. And I feel like that's gonna probably build. 
you can see it building and building. That's the most important element of Jay-Z, the core of his expression. On the surface, you, you people see him talk about money and all that kind of stuff in his songs. But the core, when he's interviewed, and you, you never hear him talk about money. He don't even give up no game like that. He, he enriches people when he speaks. So I, I, I think I'm one of those people. And, and I think I'm just evolving to be that more and more because uh, I don't interview a lot. You know, I don't actually think about these subjects that much, but I speak from the core. So it doesn't matter whether we were interviewing or not. I would just talk from myself, the core, not the surface of me, you know. <laughs>